A special thank you to the great sax trio, uh, Jason Roach and Brian and Bradley Demicki. Yes, they do a great job. Father son. Yeah, father son duo. That's great.
Amen. Come on, let's give him a shout of praise.
Babe, can you believe that this is our first Christmas that we get to spend together as I, husband and wife? I tell you what, I am so excited. Listen, hey, what what's your favorite part about Christmas? My favorite part about Christmas is decorating the tree, putting up all of the lights, and of course Christmas cookies, duh. Wait, wait, you, you missed something. The, the nativity scene, like that's kind of really important, you know, like Jesus, that's the whole reason why we're doing this, right? Well, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't I don't have a nativity scene. My my mom had one, but but I wasn't given one. So I, I, no, well, listen, I got this covered. Okay, oh, remember, okay. my mom never threw anything away. Right. And like when we moved into our house, I got all that stuff. I, I remember. So like I actually have my grandma's barn. I, I, I'm. I'm sorry, you're a barn? Yeah, yeah, you know, like the shed barn thing that like Jesus was in? Yeah, that's my grandma's. I have it here. I, I brought it. I think you mean a, a nativity manger scene, not a barn. <laughs> Jesus wasn't born in a barn. Potato, potato. I mean, seriously, come on. Okay. But yeah, anyway, look, like, actually, it's over here. Oh. Let's go take a look. Should we set it up? Yeah, let's set it up. Uh, okay. Let's uh, okay. move it out a little bit in place, okay? Uh, well, maybe I want it back here. No. Oh, look at all of the animals. I know. This is in this barn, manger, sorry. This is manger. It's beautiful, right? It is, it is my gorgeous. Grandma's. Yes, I love it. And I actually have my other grandma's figurines. But oh, the I was problem, hoping there was more than just but, the animals. Well, the problem is I don't remember which grandma was the barn, the manger, and which grandma was the figurines. Uh, that's logistics. We don't but need hey, to worry about that. They're, they're back here. So can you, um, let's start with the wise guys. Why don't you give me those? I'm, I'm sorry, the What? The wise guys, you know, those three guys that brought, like, money and, and Frankenstein and myrrh and, like, scents and things. Those guys. Babe, uh, they're the wise men, and they yeah. brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Same oh, thing. Goodness. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right, here's one. There. Yep. They go kind of towards the back here, see? This okay. is how we do it at my house. Oh, well, okay, then. There should be a third one. Yep, here he comes. Yep. Oh, Ooh, be careful. He's, he's a little fragile. Yeah, I see. He's a little handicapped. Yeah. Um, well, he's okay, not even good. facing in. We should probably turn okay. him, right? Wait, wait. Um, okay. Mary and Joseph. Mary and Joseph. Oh, Can you grab oh, them for me, yes. please? Yes. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's Mary. Be careful. Yeah. She's like towards the front because she's kind of like the main star here right now. She is pretty important. I would yeah. agree. And Joseph, okay. he was just there right. for moral support. All right. Well, um, what would you... <laughs> Isn't there we that go. the truth? It's all... Wait a it's second. It's all done. No, 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 no. Hold yep. on. Uh, wait, we're... Huh? I mean, this looks beautiful, and I love it, but we're, we're, we're missing kind of a very important part. Well, that's... We're, we're missing Jesus. No, no, no. This is December 24th. Yes, I'm aware Kay. of that. Jesus comes on December 25th. That's tomorrow, not right now. So, therefore, no Jesus. So wait a second. So you're telling me that because today is the 24th and not the 25th, Jesus can't go in the manger yet. That is correct. See, okay, in but my wait, house, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. So what about the wise guys? Because um, they didn't actually come until after Jesus was born. Listen, that's just a minor detail. Listen, you don't understand. Okay, at my house, yes. it was tradition on mm. Christmas morning when you woke up before you ate a single slice of pancake. Before you opened a single present, you figured out where you hid baby Jesus three weeks ago. You grabbed baby Jesus, and you placed him in the manger, nice and pretty like this, and voila, it's Christmas. Voila, it's Christmas. Yeah, that's how it works. The whole baby being born thing. Do you know I love you so very much? Yes. But in my family, we put Jesus in the whole month of December because, see, you know, we're, like, retelling the story. We're not actually living it, so Mary isn't actually pregnant anymore. So Jesus can go in there. Yeah, come How about on, let, that? Come on, let, let, he's right okay, here. Okay, listen, all right, we'll do it your way this year, all right? And then... So I can put yeah, him there? Yeah, put him in. We'll oh, do it okay. your way this year. And oh, then oh, when we have Harper, I mean, when we have kids someday down the road, Okay, we could do it my way, all right, so she can learn that Jesus is the reason for the season. Sound good? Yes, dear. We'll, we'll see how that goes. 
down the road. But for now, let's leave Jesus right there in the manger because I just think it's perfect. All right, all right. Well, now that it's up, do you want to put it where we're going to, where it belongs? Oh, so it's not going to go here. It's going to go where I wanted it in the first place? Yes, dear. Okay. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. That's a true story, by the way. <laughs> so this is not our first Christmas together. This is actually our sixth Christmas together. And we do have a child, little Harper, over there. And in case you were wondering, for the past six Christmases, Jesus has been in the manger. <laughs> so I did win that one. So I want to tell you that if whether you're celebrating your very first Christmas together with your husband or your wife, or if it's your 50th Christmas, that sometimes when we're merging the traditions of two families, things can get a little chaotic. Even six years in, there's things that get a little chaotic between us when we're talking about traditions. But when we love each other and we extend that grace, that we can work together and we can all have a very Merry Christmas.
say thank you to uh, Brian and uh, Bradley Dem, 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 Demnicki. Demnicki. That's what it is. You got it right yeah. there. Uh, and Jason uh, for their uh, sack trio. They did such that a That must job. be so that fun to good. have a fun name like that. Like yeah. people think you might own a pizza parlor or, you know, some <laughs> wild uh, adventure when you get Amen. Let there be peace on earth and let it be
Amen. Praise God. Woo.
so excited. We get to share our first Christmas together as husband and wife. Oh, I can't wait. Hey, you know, what's your favorite part about Christmas? My favorite part is decorating the tree and putting the lights up and baking all those yummy cookies. Mmm, so good. Yeah, but see, that's not the most important part. The nativity scene. Hello, baby Jesus. You know, the whole reason why we're here, that thing? Yes, yes, yes. I know that, that Jesus is the reason for the season and, and all of that, but um, I, I, I don't have a nativity scene. I, I didn't have one. No, it's okay. Don't worry. I got you covered. Okay. See, you remember how my mom keeps everything? Yes. She doesn't throw anything away. See, I inherited well <laughs> a nati nativity scene from my grandmother, you know? She got, she has, um, I got the, uh, the barn from her. Yeah. The barn. Yes. You know, the thing that the shed, the barn, the thing that Jesus was in. That part. I have one. The, the manger scene? Oh, yeah, the, the manger. Okay, 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 okay. The manger. Yeah, in fact, it's over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, you want to oh. take a look at it? Oh, it's so nice. Let's work okay? Yeah, I right. really like it. Let's, um, why don't we put it over here? It would look better if it was over here, I think. I mean, I think it would look okay right here. Well, over here would be a little better. But I want it here. Come on, just... <laughs> Please. Okay, 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 okay. Halfway between yeah. both worlds? Yeah, right, exactly. This came from my grandmother, like I said, the, the, the manger, as you would say. Yes. Yeah, it was actually the grandmother on my mom's side. She texted me between services to tell me that because she tuned in first service. Uh, well, I'm glad that she did that. Yeah. Anyway, um, it's kind of... Um, we're, we're missing some things. We have the oh, animals. No, and we don't. have like a shepherd. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really nice. It's okay. It's I got that. empty. I got that covered. Okay. Okay, see, okay. my other grandmother, she had the figurines, and I inherited those from her. So it's kind of like a blend of like both my grandmothers together. Now it's ours. Now it's ours. Lucky yeah, they're guys. right here. Why don't you start um, with those wise guys? You I'm help? sorry, what? The wise guys. You know the three guys that brought the, uh, the money and the Frankenstein and the Senate things? Yeah, the wise guys. The wise men? Yeah, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, babe. But that's okay. We'll work yeah, on that later. Yeah, start with them. Can okay, you help me, please? Right. So here's one. Yeah. Be careful. They go kind of towards the back here. Yeah. If they're your great-grandmothers, they must be pretty old. we got to be careful. Mm -hmm. I'm told they're worth a lot of money. Okay. And I was told yeah. not to let anything happen to them. Very good. Yep. There they go. Oh, so nice. Aren't they pretty? Yes. I, oh, wait a second. Hey, you don't know which ones are the wise guys, do you? I'm sorry. I got confused. Okay, here we yeah. go. There you go. All right, be careful with him. Yep. All right, we'll get him on here. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we look better. Oh, careful. Now yep. we look a little better. You All got right. it. He's chilling. Yeah. There we go. So, um, and uh, then, oh, um, Mary and, uh, Mary and, and Joseph. Joseph. She's now, kind of important. Now Joseph? Yeah, Mary. Okay, yep. So she's kind of like the star right now. And All right, and here is yeah, Joseph. He's here for moral support. Yes, he is. Yeah. There we go. Merry right. Christmas! It's all ready. Uh, <laughs> no, um, we're we're missing somebody here between Mary and uh, Joseph. We're we're missing like the star of the show here. Listen, today is December twenty fourth. Yes, it is. Yes, Jesus isn't born until December twenty fifth. So hence why he is not in the manger right now. Yes, but we already put the wise guys in the scene, and if I remember correctly from reading the Bible, that they don't come before Jesus is born. They come after he's born. So should we follow the timeline for all of the figurines? Listen, that's just a minor detail. It's not important, okay? Listen, okay, in my family, it's tradition that when you wake up on Christmas morning, before you even eat a piece of pancake or open a present, you find out where you hid baby Jesus three weeks ago. You pull him out, and you gently place him in the manger on Christmas Day, and bam, voila, Merry Christmas. Bam. Merry Christmas? Exactly, just like that. Okay, there's a lot of things that are slightly wrong with that story. Like, I'm really not sure why you're hiding baby Jesus, but we'll get to that at another time. It's tradition. Um, but, you know, in my family, our tradition is that we set up all of the figurines at the beginning of December. In fact, the day after Thanksgiving. Your family's a little weird. Well, you chose me. So um, I think that our manger scene would look a lot better for our first Christmas if we put baby Jesus front and center where he belongs today. 
not tomorrow after pancakes. Okay. Yes. Look, we can do it your way for now, this first year, okay? But eventually, when we start having kids and having Harper, oh, wait, we didn't know we had Harper yet. Okay, when we start having kids, all right, we're going to do it my way, all right, because they need to learn that Jesus is the most important part of Christmas. Yes, dear, we can do it that way. But thank you for doing it my way for this first uh, year. You know, happy wife, happy life, right? Am I kidding? That's right. Now, I don't really like where the manger is right now. Maybe we can move it back. <sighs> yes, so, dear. Yes, thank you. All right, see, doesn't that look so much better? Yes, dear. Yes, thank you. Why don't you go get those other Christmas decorations for oh, us? Okay. Okay, bye. Love you. Okay. Well, it is not our first Christmas together. This is actually our sixth Christmas together, and that was 100% a true story. If you can imagine it, our first Christmas, we were only married for about six months before we had to put the manger scene together, and there was um, quite a, a lot of argument there in that discussion. However, it doesn't matter if it is your first Christmas together with your husband or your wife, or if it's your 50th Christmas together, there's going to be times where there might be a little bit of struggle in your tradition or a little bit of chaos in your tradition. But the good thing is that if we each do a little bit of give and take and we listen to each other and we love each other with the grace of God, that we can all have a very, very Merry Christmas. <laughs>